Hey guys, welcome to the channel. For anyone who's new, I'm Dev. How's it going? So, this video is going to be quite similar to the last video, as I had a lot of fun putting it together. And at the moment here, I'm just kind of getting the image kind of prepped for putting down the background, just masking out the outline, and then I'm just going to kind of cover up the, the space I'm going to be working on. I did go into a wee bit more detail in the previous video, so if you're curious, just go back and watch it. So, just going to lay down a few basic kind of colours. I kind of want to keep it quite vibrant, as Prodigy was pretty much out there. So, yeah, I'm kind of working on some kind of yellows, greens, pinks. Kind of very, very vibrant kind of colour palette in the background. So I also want to incorporate lyrics from kind of the iconic tracks from the Prodigy. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, the image I'm going to be working on is Keith, who was the front man of the Prodigy, passed away not so long ago. And uh, I've been meaning to do a Prodigy piece for some time. So, yeah, just getting down some of the lyrics, kind of, I'm not kind of going into too much detail at the background. I kind of want to keep it as loose and abstract as possible. I will go back at kind of towards the end and work a wee bit more on the background. And uh, I'll be doing some stencils, which uh, I'll be doing later in the video as well. So make sure you watch that because uh, stencils, you know, your, your stencils do take a little bit of prep to put together. So once I'm happy enough there with the background, uh, it's time to just remove any of the excess tape. And uh, yeah, just start laying down some charcoal and working on all them beautiful tones. It's quite a high contrast image that I'm working with, so uh, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, very, very fast and yeah, good image to work with. So I just set out getting all the black stone and just shade off the black to kind of create kind of the darker tones. So I'm kind of working from dark to light on this one. I'll probably do a few more images like this over the next couple of weeks as I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it, I'm enjoying it and I'm just kind of working on a few techniques of my own. When you work with paper and using aerosols, I've kind of found that it's quite important to use kind of kind of glosses, and uh, I've been using a satin, a satin gloss. So basically, it kind of just holds the, the aerosol or the spray paint down, and it makes it easier for me then to write over it, and it gives it that that kind of gloss shine, which is kind of cool. If I was using the canvas, I'd be using lacquers, but it's, it's a bit, it's kind of more difficult to use lacquer on paper, so the, the glass works quite well. I experimented a wee bit as well, so normally I just use like a very, very strong um, ultra bond hairspray just to kind of stick the charcoal. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I used some hairspray on that, and then I decided to put a layer of glass on top of it and the results are absolutely fantastic, so uh, there's a good little tip for you. But yeah, just building up them tones, like I said, it's quite a straightforward drawing. Uh, there's a lot of white on, on the image, so it's just kind of some mid-tones and just blending them into the whites. Sometimes when you, you see an image to the scale, it can be quite intimidating, you know? But believe it or not, I find it actually easier to work big. You know, I, I would have done portraits for people for years and the, the amount of time it takes to do a little detail portrait. A big image like this I can kind of knock out in a few days and uh, it, it, yeah, it's just a case of using a bigger brush. Of 
charcoal is such a beautiful medium to, to use and uh, um, like behind the scenes here I'm experimenting a lot kind of using different materials with the charcoal seeing what way I can get them to work been kind of using kind of some acrylics there with charcoal and that and I'm just trying to refine it so it looks like a good clean image before I kind of start making videos on it but in this case I think the, the aerosol or the, the spray paints in the background works great with the, the charcoal you know so yeah this is quite important here now so stencils do take a bit of time and now I ordered the wrong paper online but I normally do use kind of a thicker kind of material that way I can keep all my stencils because you never know when you might need your stencils again but um, yeah I'm just using it's kind of almost like a tracing paper here just to give you guys an idea how to make a stencil print out uh, some images I want to work with and just just start cutting away now you wouldn't think about it's you have to be very very careful using these blades you know one little slip man and you're going to hospital so always kind of never have your hand behind where you're cutting because it's very easy to slip and i do recommend kind of buying a cutting mat online or in your local art supply shop it, it just it, it's just for safety really you know I, i've seen accidents happen with these blades over the years where people put them through their fingers and that and it's not nice you know So yeah, I got my stencil stone up now and I'm just going to start kind of spraying over them. Uh, I'm doing negative uh, stencils there as well. And in the Prodigy, the, the latest albums there, they were using kind of ants and the more old school albums to use crabs. So I just want to incorporate some of the insects and creatures kind of uh, into the piece as well. little ink splashes there it always adds that kind of another dimension to the drawing but yeah i'll just uh, put another few layers of gloss over it and uh, then the image should be good to go and i'm super super happy with how this one turned out this is a process that i'm pretty confident anyone can kind of achieve uh, yeah uh, it's quite a simple background just a splash of colors basic stencil work and obviously the charcoal then uh, just a little bit of tonal work but you can achieve some fantastic results very easily by just using a few materials but big thanks to everyone for taking the time out to watch the video and uh, yeah see you soon